All right. So, Grenadier Jake has come out and talked about why they're suing G1 Kenny. Now, if I remember correctly, G1 Destiny 2. I want to say the one of the people from G1 was the guy that leaked that had leaked um story content. It was Season of the Deep, I think, content. And the guy was literally signed an NDA, and then he faked out saying, no, nah, bro, it wasn't me. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. And then Bungie came out and said, no, bro, you did do it. And he had his account, everything banned, and he was out here, like, dissing on people, like, oh, I can't believe you. Granted, nowadays, I'd probably agree with him dissing on Bungie because, you know, it's warranted. Yeah, I don't know who, who G1 is, but this is apparently a organization. The reason why I care about this is because apparently, whoops, wrong person. Apparently, that's wrong. Apparently, uh, the people that made Evolve, that's where I got my PC, my $4,000 PC, is from Evolve, and it runs like a freaking charm. Like, it's hot. Um, apparently, they're part of it, and they're getting sued, so I'm actually very interested in this. So we're going to see if it how loud it gets cuz I don't know. Way to start this video. This is all very legal and sensitive so I will be reading a script but that does not mean that it is not very authentic and very genuine. It is so unfortunate that I've been forced to put out this video today. Yesterday, I filed a lawsuit in Texas against Gamers First, Ooh. Kenny Vaccaro and Triple Rec for their failure to pay me back for a loan. Now if I remember from like D1, and I I was on Xbox, then I went to PlayStation. Triple Rec, I believe, was like a very popular PvP player. If I I don't know, maybe he was a raider, maybe he was both. But I swear I remember him like doing trials and people were like hyping him up. Uh, him and uh, another streamer, I think it was Lupo. Those are like the old. D1 Vanguard, if I remember correctly. I've I've actually forgot about Triple Rec until he mentioned it. In 2022, I loaned Evolve PCs $100,000 so they could continue... $100,000? No, I know I spent $4,000 on my PC and it, trust me, it... I know it was some of it was like a little overpriced if I just built it myself. That's going to be like any game that you or any PC you build yourself. But with such a high tech PC, it's kind of like I don't want to buy such expensive parts and then screw it up. So I'd la rather pay a little extra something something to make sure it's built correctly. And I've had it for two years, two, three years. Let's see when I graduated. La yeah, holy crap. It, I graduated three years ago. Like this would be my third year in the summer will be three years that I graduated my master's and I got it in the summer of COVID yeah 2020 oh wow and that's almost been 2021 20 it's between 2021 I think 2021 when COVID was starting to die down I got my my gaming PC holy crap that's how old I've I, I've gotten and times fly by I I feel old but yes I had my evolved PC since then I've, I've had it since then Founder of Evolve was a fellow Destiny creator named Triple Red. And after a heart to heart I had with him on a phone call, the loan felt like a practically risk risk free opportunity to help a colleague while also make I don't do loans. If I give money, I do not expect it to come back. And I think that's a rule of thumb in life. Do not give money that you cannot accept never getting back. I've give willingly given money. Like when I was in high school, I gave my best friend $300 to get surgery on his tooth because he didn't have insurance. Granted, I didn't have insurance either. Oh, I'm going to plug in my piece real quick. Oh. I love you. I love you. I'm in the middle of a video. I'm in the middle of a live stream. It's still going. Thank God. Anyways, so I, I gave my best friend $300. 
I did not expect it to come back. One, because we we're friends. And two, I've had previous instances, like when I worked at uh, Walmart, I had coworkers that were desperate. So I've gave out, like, I shielded out $60 stuff and they never paid me back. So I, I mean, I, I've, I have the mindset with some of the people that have screwed me over. Not my best friend, by the way, I gave that willingly as a gift, not expecting anything back. But I've been screwed over giving people money. Now, that doesn't mean I don't want to help people, but I will only give so much away that I know it won't hurt me. I will give you money without the expect expectation. Now, I won't tell them that. I, mentally, if they pay me back, that's great. If they say they'll pay me back, that's great. But I will never give more than what I can give. Or even like say a hundred K, like I don't know how much Renee or Jake makes. He's a, a streamer, that's his, his job. He probably makes some good, some decent money. Destiny 2, I don't know. There's, it's maybe wishwashy. But it, it, he obviously makes enough that he can give a hundred K out. But obviously he wants it back because it, it is a substantial amount of money, hundred K. Like, I'm going to be able to pay some bills for a couple months personally if I had 100K. I'm just going to say, like, I could pay off my, my house for probably the rest of the year uh, with, with that, right? And so, for him to give 100K, he must really trust people or this person. But even as a friend, I would not, I would not loan out 100K to my bestest of friends or business colleagues. Because I just, you can't trust people. One, not because they're distrust, like you can't trust people in general, but life happens. And some people, and I'm not defending Evolve or whoever he's suing, because we're, we're going to get more into it. But I just want to say in general, sometimes life happens and you just, you can't control that. Some people really do want to pay back, but in their, they get, they get some, they get themselves in such a hole or situation that they can't climb out. That's why people get into debt. Bad decisions, bad choices. That's another reason why you got to be, be careful who you give money to. And if you do give money, be smart with how much you give. That's my. That's a learning lesson from me to you. Don't give money, one, you don't have, and two, give money away that you don't mind giving away that you can expect never to get back. If you just don't tell the people that because then they won't pay you. But if they say they'll pay you back and it's amount that, you know, if they never pay me back, okay, whatever. I'll ask about a couple times. And after that, I'm not going to, I'm not going to get angry because I expected them not to pay me anyways. Making sure the evolved team didn't have to work through the holidays unpaid. The investment the following month. And okay. That is very, very generous. Like, let me re hear that again the following month and therefore my immediate payback no the investment the following month okay that's not what I want to hear creator named triple Grant. okay and after a heart to heart I had with him on a phone call the loan felt like a practically risk risk-free opportunity to help a colleague while also making sure the evolved team didn't have to work through the holidays unpaid again very generous of him is he is looking out for other people and you could say well uh no matter what you say right no matter what you say you like your name or jake you don't the fact that he's not trying to help his friend out triple triple wreck he's specifically trying to pay a whole team this whole team he's trying to make sure that these people don't work through christmas and don't get paid i First off, that's not his responsibility or his job. And I get that he's trying to be kind and helpful, show some Christmas cheer, whatnot. But man, this triple wreck guy, I don't remember him much outside of him like being a top D1 player back in the day. If you can't afford to pay your, your people, you're doing something wrong. I, and it, it shouldn't be the responsibility of someone else to cover your team. If it was me and I I had someone give me 100K, you know 
the bottom dollar, I'm going to pay them back. Especially if they're paying my employees. I guess maybe I have self-respect or like pride. And I don't want to look like a clown because I had to have a content creator pay my employees because I'm doing something wrong. Like my business is not doing what it needs to be doing. Or maybe should not be working during Christmas. I don't know the full story. We don't know the full details. But it's bad business if someone else has to pay your employees to do their job. The investment the following month, and therefore my immediate payback, seemed like a guarantee. Fortunately, I took all legal precautions with the loan and put in place the necessary paperwork to protect myself. Smart. No, if you're going to give loans to people, you're going to help them out. Paper trail. Listen, if someone if you someone asks for your help and you are willing to give them like a large sum of money and you request request documents, signatures saying that they will pay you back and they get upset, don't give them the money. Anyone that is truly in need will take what they can get. And they will willingly sign if they truly, truly plan on paying you back. That's the bottom dollar, my friends. That's the bottom buckaroonies. Do not give your money to someone who gets upset or offended that you want them to sign a document to show that they will pay you back. Granted, like I said, I never made my friend have to pay me back for $300 or have them pay paper because it was something that I didn't mind giving. I was a dumb kid. I went, okay, I'm not dumb because I gave money away. I was a dumb kid and the only thing I cared about was video games. So I never really spent much money. Like I had mu extra money. I was just spending it out on like midnight releases, playing games, buying Xbox Live cards. Like that was me replacing like 20 different controllers because I raged so hard on call of duty and threw my controller out the wall like a dumb kid right so giving money away to my friend a little bit more value for me i didn't just waste my money but if i was like give him 100k like yo bro this that's something that's going to be in paper so he was very smart to do so though repayment was supposed to be quick due to an incoming investment it unfortunately fell through and my initial loan repayment due date of January 1st, 2023 passed by. How do you fail that though? Like if you're making your employees work through Christmas and you ship out, like I'm assuming they're working Christmas orders. Like Christmas is the best time to, to sell computers because gamers are going to want a game, right? You have to be doing so bad that even your Christmas sales cannot recover the loan like how bad is evolve doing like I, i'm again I, I guess i got mine when they were doing well and so like it, there's no shoddy work but it's crazy oh my dashers here give me two seconds evolve then pivoted to acquisition and that's where things start getting screwy in early 2023 i'm informed that evolve is being acquired by gamers first the esports organization founded by former NFL player Kenny Vaccaro and that and I don't know who any of that is again G1 it's that one guy that one guy I forgot what his name he, he used to be very popular in D, the Destiny 2 community he did like he had the most grandmaster clears he would that's all he would do all day every day is carry people through grandmasters god I wish I could do that I used to do that in Destiny 1 I used to carry people through nightfalls. I used to be that dude. When I was a sweaty high schooler, or even uh, working on my associate's degree in community college, my butt cheeks was on a on an Xbox controller, and I was playing Destiny. Like, I would solo nightfalls. Like, I was all up in the business. Um, and I did do, like, carries. And I wasn't a streamer back then either. I didn't even have, like, a good computer or a capture card. Uh, but this this guy that did grandmasters like he used to be very popular god i forgot it's season of the deep he he leaked all the information about season of the deep and he broke nda he got called out he, he had like paul tassie defending him 
it was a whole thing and then it finds out this guy from g1 was just a scumbag who was trying to get popularity hype he was already popular like he shot himself in the foot and i don't understand why people do that like if i had like a golden ticket like that and i was actually like under like let's be honest i'll never get the golden ticket of being under uh bungie's good side because i will always be hy hypercritical and as a consumer who has high standards for myself granted i'm still playing destiny so obviously i don't have that much high standards so i have stockholm syndrome but i will criticize when it needs to criticize but like i said g1 to me like when i think of g1 i have this negative connotation personally and i don't know much about them outside of that continuing on at g1 will be assuming the repayment of my loan and maybe after this video, I'll have even more of a negative connotation for G1. At this point, G1 was an up-and-coming organization. And after several discussions with Kenny, I felt very confident. During this process, I was reassured multiple times by Kenny Vaccaro that my debt would be taken care of. And in June 2023, we put in place the legal paperwork to reflect that. I was supposed to be... Wait, so they're passing off information? Like, hey, we didn't. you didn't get paid? We're gonna take care of you. How many loopholes do you have to get to get paid 100K? Like this business must be flopping if they can't afford to pay back someone who gave them a loan just to take care of people for Christmas. Repaid in full plus interest by January 1st, 2024. Triple Rec remained the guarantor, the guarantor, guarantor, guarantor. Triple Rec remained the guarantor. I'm gonna say right now, I'm glad I'm not the only one that, has, that struggles with the English language. He does too. So that makes me feel better. Listen, I'm not a professional streamer. So when I start fumbling the bag in my words, blah, 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 it's because I'm not ex I'm experienced when it comes to improvision. I am a speech and debate coach, but everything I teach my kids is based on what they have in front of them, what's pre-written, evidence, all that stuff. Now, sometimes I do read stuff like on the screen and I still fumble it, but that's because I am just like, things are processing faster in my head and I say things before I actually really digest it. Uh, moving on. <laughs> Which meant if G1 didn't come through by that date, the repayment responsibility would also be on him. Several months later, a bunch of non-payment allegations against G1 started to become public. And I became skeptical, skeptical that I'd be getting my money back. In December, I reached out to Kenny directly to get some reassur reassurance that I'd be paid in January. I mean, honest, I'd be skeptical in general. You've been having to jump through hoops to, to get your money back, period. I would be skeptical the entire time. The moment you didn't get your money back, I would also always be skeptical. Always. I don't care how many like things people have signed. People will try to go through as many like loopholes to avoid paying you. I I would not care how many pages of documents I have because people signed on it. They'll find a way to try to worm their way out of it. And I was less than reassured. Following the repayments due date, and after multiple attempts by my team and I to keep lines of communication open regarding that payment, I was ghosted by Gamers First and Kenny. Since we last spoke, my team has found some interesting information hey guys maybe we ignore him and act like he's not there he'll stop asking for his money back you think that'll work what's that we're john cena you don't see us I, i'm wait hold on john cena we don't exist guys we can't pay him if you can't see us no that's that's not how that works you can avoid uh talking to someone but uh that's not how legal proceedings and stuff like that works like you can get sued which is what's happening information about kenny and gamers first which provides important context for my dealings with them apparently we are not the only ones suing kenny and gamers first as the landlord of the widely reported g1 facility is also suing them in texas for unpaid rent uh-oh uh-oh so it sounds like my personal thought is that this G1 is really like from what I hear is anything esports related is struggling because people don't care enough in America as they do in like Asian countries that care a lot more like Korea. I think 
loves like League of Legends. I could be wrong, but Asian countries care far more about their esports than America does. Because if you talk to most people in America, esports are like, that's not a real sport. They don't care. <laughs> they most people do not care nearly at all about esports. That being said, they're probably suffering financially because of that factor. Uh, that's why, like, me personally, like, I, when I was in high school, like, man, I'm going to be esports because I used to be god tier at Halo 3 because that's all I did. I was a, a sweaty, lonely little nerd who had too much free time. And so I'm like some of, I'm some of these kids that are on Fortnite right now who are doing, like, crazy trick shots. They're just dominating in Fortnite. Like, you're like, how's that little kid so good? It's because they have too much free time and they are, their mind is is still growing so they've learned those skills i was a legend in halo but i i just i always wanted to be like esports but then things happened and well also i i i, I i'm gonna be honest even now from as a time as a kid i get way too competitive and i rage but i would be kicked out of a team like that that's I'm gonna be honest. So even if I made it onto like an esports team back in the Halo three days, I'd be kicked off because I would, you know, pass Mr. Gaming Counselor said some unsavory things. He may have dropped some hard R's, multiple different versions of hard R's. I was a stupid high schooler nerdy kid back then who lived out in the countryside. So I've grown since then. But the point is, esports, not that big. So this G1 esports team is probably struggling financially. They they got too much going on for their britches, and uh, you can't pay your bills. That lawsuit even alleges that Kenny failed to pay the rent on the facility two weeks before G1 acquired Evolve and the debt owed to me, which, if true, shows that Kenny would have had to been aware of financial problems prior to the acquisition and cast doubt on his potential ability to follow through with the repayment. The reality is... It's probably the fact that this Kenny guy, when he acquired Evolve, didn't realize there was a small price tag next to the price tag that they that they paid for. Like, what? What do you mean? I paid for Evolve? I paid, let's just make an imaginary number. I made $500,000 for this, this, this company. What do you mean there's a 100K tag next to that? Why do I have to pay this? What, what, what we're gonna do? Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna give, we're gonna tell him, we're gonna give some papers, tell him we're gonna pay it off, and then we're just gonna turn our phones off. See this? He's texting us right now. Turn it off. We, now we, now we can't see him. You see nothing, you know nothing. That's that's how you deal with your lot your your rent. That's how you deal with anything. Because apparently they're doing that to their landlord. Oh boy, it's funny. Gamers first has failed to repay. By the way, I don't know if suing if even if he's is successful with suing them, I don't know if he's ever gonna see this money back. Like if they can't even pay their 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 rent where they're at, like I don't I think they're I think they're done. Like, if you have an Evolve PC, like, you honestly might have, like, a an artifact in a, in a couple months to a year, guys. Like, you're going to be able to put it in a museum. Like, this once was a popular PC site where you can get some good gamer PCs. Now is is a, a dinosaur of its ancient times. Pay me the loan within our agreed time frame. And based on Kenny's actions and knowledge during this process, we believe that Kenny's personal liability is justified too. This industry has always had non-payment issues, but the only way this will change is if people are held accountable for their actions. It's unfortunate that it's come to this, but I'm left with no other choice than to pursue this matter in court. No, honestly, I would have pursued it in court the moment they didn't pay you. Like the moment the person coughed up the money and took ownership, like, hey, you need to pay me my dues. Your company, which is liable, has not paid me. Where's my money? It's like the, if you've, you, I'm going to pull it up. 
it's like this the, the meme right here uh will pharaoh i don't know how yeah there it is where my money where's my rent there it is if you've never seen it this is the best thing ever here it is <laughs> where's my rent that's that's what he should have done he should have been where's my rent you don't have to raise your voice you pay now i know it's so inappropriate because it's a little girl but it's still kind of funny let's be honest it's a little funny so that's exactly what he should have been she should have done he's like you pay now the moment it went from one person to another it's like hey you spent the money there's another price tag you gotta pay me now and i get it you want to be a nice guy you want to be lenient because i'm that guy but we're talking about 100 g's here 100 g's oh baby 100 g's you gotta pay your dues brother you gotta pay your dues if not i'm coming for you that's right i'm coming for you but seriously like i would have been all over that 100k he is way too nice and i would have immediately like if he knows it's pro typical for to get like the scooby-doo meme where everyone's running through the doors like i'm not paying this you pay this no i'm not paying this you paying this no i'm not paying this I would have took it to court. Be done with it. That's why I said, don't give more money than you can afford to give. And if you do give money, give only amount of money that you could live without. And don't expect it to come back. Even if you sign in papers, I still wouldn't expect it to come back. And if you do sign in papers, just take them to court. Okay, that's the end of the video. Again, I think uh, I, I, the reason I care about it is because I did buy an Evolve PC. He talked about Triple Wreck, which, like I said, is a guy from D1, and I was a D1 gamer back in the day. It's very interesting to see content creators sue actual companies. So that's the end of that video. Hit the, what do you guys think about it? I mean, it is at the, at the bottom of the day, it doesn't really matter. I just think it's very interesting how people spend their money. I, I think it's like a good lesson in life. This is a good life lesson. Don't give money and expect it to come back. Nowadays, you cannot. Because again, even if they truly, truly mean, mean to pay you back, like someone really does want to pay you back, life happens. And it sounds like this G1 company like, first off, Evolve was obviously doing bad if they had to be purchased. But G1 was also doing bad if they can't even pay the rent. So they're going downhill. I would not give anyone money on the fact that you don't know if life happens and they can't afford to pay it. Especially a large sum. I mean, if you look at businesses nowadays, like with the banks, like there was the payout. Our government bailed out banks what, a couple years ago. Don't give money to people that you really don't know or you think you can trust. I mean, even, even if it was your best friend, 100K, I would not give 100K without, especially papers, but I wouldn't give it. I'd be like, you know what? I can give you only so much. I'm sorry. Unless you're going to give it and never expect it back. If you, if you want to give 100K as a gift, you're like, you know what? I'm going to take care of you. Give it as a gift, but don't ever expect it back. I'm just saying. That's me. I'm Mr. Gaming Counselor. Hit that like button. Comment down below what you think. And as always, subscribe to the channel. And until next time, don't forget, I don't have anything besides a sandwich. So enjoy your sandwich. Game out. Mr. Game.